gosh, I can't remember. It's been, I don't even remember. It's probably been 15 years, if I remember right. I never even thought about that question. Hmm. But I, I joined as soon as we had the opportunity. I knew as soon as I heard about it that I wanted to be a part of that because uh, it, it, it's very professional and I, I wanted to know that I was a part of something. And I've always believed in collaboration and I've always believed that, that, that we should have management as well as employees working together to accomplish the needs. Uh, a lot of times uh, my personal obje uh, observation is people are very Management can be very, very uh, goal-oriented, but oftentimes the details get overlooked, and that's where the employees can come in and fill in those gaps and make whatever we're trying to accomplish a better product uh, for the agency itself. You know, collaboration wasn't wasn't a big conversation when I first joined, and then as as that movement started picking up steam over the last five, six years. I, I've been a part of things that have been developed and are very successful, such as this PIORM thing. Uh, that is a direct result of collaboration and management. And, uh, and I think that is a result of the NACA uh, Collective trying to promote the agency's mission of safety and, and upgrading the NAS. And I, I enjoy being a part of that. I enjoy being a part of the NACA because I know they have my back. I know they're about professionalism, and I want to be associated with that professional organization. Well, my, in my early days, I was a uh, rep, and I, uh, I was not a part of the main group. I was at a remote, remote facility, and I, although I communicated with the, with the uh, president of that area. Um, we didn't have the opportunity to develop a relationship. And then I got moved into my uh, new position where I wasn't part of a bigger group. And, and I realized that I had been missing out on a lot of opportunities to be a part of the NACA uh, collaboration effort and be a part of the collective. There was people from all over NACA who had a lot of experience in different things, not only with the agency, but also with NACA. And I could draw on that, and I learned a lot. And I, and I realized I was really missing out on an opportunity to learn more about what we were about and how we could benefit employees. And so uh, as, as, that, as I got older and I got to be more active and participating on activities and stuff that were available, I realized that there's a lot of people out there, a lot of resources, and a lot of uh, strength, to put it bluntly and to accomplish what we feel is important as employees, and that is uh, our jobs, how, how we perform our jobs, uh, understanding what we are trying to accomplish, and to do it safely, and to do it right is probably the biggest thing for me. I've had a few conversations with people over the years, and, and, and all I can try to do is relate the way I see it. And, and it all kind of comes down to when I see what NACA has done for me as far as my benefits, my salary, my job security, and, and what that does for me to, to care for my family, I try to relay that to them. And the, and the young, younger engineers, you know, they're young, they don't have families, and probably, you know, not financially as well off as the, as the journeyman. But, I try to understand that, yeah, it is a commitment, but in the long run, that commitment is to their benefit. And there are a lot of things that, that you don't realize as early in your career that there's a direct result of what NACA has done. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we tend to look as engineers at the money. And uh, I think uh, uh, we have to choose what is important in our lives. And that commitment of joining NACA is an investment into the security of your future, and you can make it be whatever you want. You can accomplish whatever you want to do. And so that's what I try to convey to the new guys. And it's a tough road, because they're, they're starting out in life and their careers, and, and they're, they're, they're still trying to feel their way in and understand how they fit in, and, uh, and they're looking
looking at the money, and that is an important thing to look at for them. But uh, that's probably what I would suggest and try to convey to them. It's the means to the end, not just what you see in front of us.